All right, friends, we're back. Today we're going to be talking about how you find the volume. Just say, I just want to remind you. If you have any questions or anything that's really come up that you don't understand, feel free to email me. And of course, here's my email address. It's just dread at davidson.k12.nc.us. So, you know, if you got any comments or concerns, anything you just don't really understand, feel free to email me and we'll get it together and work it out okay so today we are going to start out by talking about the uh, cylinder by reviewing how to get the area of a circle so hopefully at this point we know that of course the circle has got either a diameter that goes all the way across the circle or that it has a radius that just goes halfway across the circle. And I'm pretty sure that most of you have gotten up to this point that to get the area of a circle, the area of a circle formula is pi times radius squared. Okay, so for example, if the diameter on this one was uh, 26 centimeters, then you would do pi times 13 squared to get the area of that circle. Of course, if they give you the radius, let's say they just told you the radius was 8.5 inches, then you would just do pi times 8.5 squared, and you'd have it, okay? So again, if you have a squared button on your calculator, it makes things super easy. So you just you can just use 3.14 for pi, and do pi times 13 squared, and you get your 530.66. Okay. And that would be centimeters squared. If you don't have a squared button, you're going to, have to do 3.14 times 13 times 13. You just want to do times 13 times 13 and hit enter. And that will give you the 530.66. Okay, over here on the other one. You just do pi times 8.5 squared, and that'll give you 226.87, and that would of course be inches squared. All right. If you don't have the squared button, 3.14 times 8.5 times 8.5, and that'll give you the area. Okay, so hopefully you got a squared button either on your calculator or on your cell phone or whatever you might be using. But if you don't, don't worry, just multiply the radiuses together. Pi times radius times radius and you got it, okay? Now that ties in with our fact, after we've got that reviewed, okay? Again, we, we talked about in the last lesson that to get the basic volume formula, okay? Just to, for any particular thing, to get the volume of it, you do base area times height. Okay? so. In our cylinder, of course, the base is going to be a circle. So you got to get the area of the circle, base, and then you multiply it by the height of the whole thing, and that's it. Okay? It's pretty simple. So base area times height. So let's just do a couple of them here, and uh, we'll see how simple it is. So I'm going to draw a couple of different cylinders here, and we'll just talk about how to do each one. Okay? One of them I'll do a little bit uh, with the diameter. The other one I'll do with the radius. Okay. All right. So, uh, let's say you've got your cylinder there. Okay, you can be uh, your can of beans, can of peas, can of corn, whatever you want it to be. All right. But let's say that you have this given to you. Okay, which would be all the way across, which is the diameter. And let's say that day the diameter of that is 18 centimeters. And let's say it is 22 centimeters tall. Okay. So, to get the area of the circular base, you're going to do pi times radius squared, just like we reviewed up there in number one, and then you're going to multiply that by the height. So, the, the formula we're going to be using here on this particular cylinder, okay, is pi times radius squared. Again, that gives you the area of the circle times height. Super simple, okay. If you're good with circle area, this is just adding one more little step on it, no problem. 
So since you see that the diameter all the way across there is 18 centimeters, okay, well, what's half of 18? You got it, it's nine. All right, so we know that the diameter is 18 centimeters, so that means the radius is nine. Okay, so now that we know that what our radius is, we're pretty much home free from here, okay? So we're gonna do pi times nine squared, <coughs> oh me thank you for the blessings <clears throat> and then we're going to multiply it by the height of the whole thing which would be 22 so pi times 9 squared gives you the area of the circle then you multiply it by the height of the whole thing okay so let's pull the old trusty calculator out here pi let's see what that's just made up. this looks a little better if you lean it up like that alright so pi times 9 squared, if you want to do it step by step, okay, that's pi times radius squared. So the area of the circle is 254.34. Then you would multiply that by the height, which is 22. And so altogether, the volume of that particular can or cylinder, 5,595 and 48 hundredths, that would be centimeters cubed again remember anything in volume is cubed because we've multiplied three things together okay two radiuses and a height so that's radius radius height so that's why it's to the third power all right if you want to multiply it all together at one time and not do it separate pi times nine squared times 22 okay so that's pi times radius squared times height it's the same answer don't have a squared button, don't fear, don't fret, pi times 9 times 9 times 22. So that's pi times radius times radius times height. Still get 5,595 and 48 hundredths, okay? So any of those methods, totally fine. Just depends on the kind of calculator that you have. All right, so there's that one when they give you the diameter. Just remember if they give you the diameter, Take half the diameter, you get your radius. So now let's try one that doesn't give you the diameter. Okay, I started out with the harder one. Now we're gonna go down here and do one that just gives you the radius. Okay, this time we'll do a little bit taller version. Maybe like a uh, can of Coke or Mountain Dew or Sprite or whatever your favorite soft drink is. Coke Zero for me, people. Coke Zero. Especially, really, to be honest, Cherry Coke Zero is the one. Cherry Coke Zero. So, you want a little extra credit? Bring the old guy some Cherry Coke Zero. All right, so let's say this time they give you the radius. It's going to be even easier, okay? So let's say right there that is uh, seven and a half inches. All right. So again, we're going to do base area times height. We know the base is a circle. So that's pi times radius squared. All right. Well, I mean, you know, they're already giving you the radius because that's what that is, the 7.5. All right. The only thing we need to know down here is the height. So let's say that's uh, 18 inches. So we're going to do pi times seven and a half squared. That'll give us the base area. And then you go multiply that by the height, which is 18. So radius squared, seven and a half times height, which is 18. All right, let's do that on our trusted calculator here. Hopefully everybody can see everything okay. So pi times seven and a half squared times 18 gives us a grand volume of 3,179 and 25 hundredths. Again, that would be uh, in square units. What I say was inches, inches, yeah. Inches cubed. Did I say squared? I meant cubed. All right. If you don't have the squared button on your calculator, let's do it out, you know, step by step without using the squared button. 3.14 for pi times 7.5 times 
times 7.5 times 18 still gets 3,179.25 again that's inches cubed because we multiplied two radiuses and the height so there's one two three three items we multiplied together other than the pi of course okay so there's that so get your area of your base pi times radius squared because it's a circle multiply it by the height gives you the volume that'll be how much it holds how much it takes to fill it up how much it contains what's its capacity all those kind of things we talked about in the last one all right our last thing we're going to talk about on this particular lesson is how do you do it when they give you the volume and you got to do some things in reverse okay so it's going to take a little more brain power I know you can do it though all right so this is called find the height okay find the height let's say find the missing height how about that all right so let's say they tell you the cylinder volume is equal to oh let's say 2500 centimeters cubed okay 2500 centimeters cubed now the other thing you're gonna have to give you is either the diameter or the radius okay so uh, let's just start out with the radius and then we'll go to the we'll do one with the diameter in a second so let's tell you that they know the radius is eight centimeters okay so now you're going to work this backwards okay and try to find the height all right so over here i'm just going to write down well i know my volume formula is pi times radius squared times height all right and i'm just going to plug these numbers they give me over here into the formula and i'm going to do some things to figure out what the height actually is okay so i know the volume 2500 so i'm going to write it here 2500 of course i know what pi is i also know the radius so of course that would be 3.14 and I know the radius is 8 and that's going to be 8 squared and of course I'm going to try to find the height alright so first thing I'm going to do just do my 3.14 times 8 squared if you don't have the squared button again you're just going to be doing 8 times 8 alright so that gives me 2500 equals that's 200.96 times the height okay so all I did was find the area of the circle pi times radius squared and now I know the area of the circle or the base area is 200.96 so from all the problems we've done earlier this year where we have solved one step equations all you got to do now is just one step from here and you're good okay so to find the H you divide over here by 200.96 which means over here on the left you divide by 200.96 of course those cancel out because 200.96 divided by 200.96 is just 1 and then I'll come back over here with my calculator and do 2500 divided by 200.96 and that is going to give me the height is and we're just going to go to the hundreds place. So if we go to the hundreds, five right there. That would just be 12 and 44 hundreds. And there you go. So the height for that particular cylinder is 12 and 44 hundreds. Now if you want to make sure that's right, we'll go back up here and plug it in. So we know it would be pi times 8 squared times 12.44 and you see it almost gives us 2500 all right let's do one more okay let's say this time instead of giving them the giving you the radius it's going to give you the diameter all right so let's say this time we know the cylinder volume would be equal to oh 
Let's do some big number. Let's do something crazy. Uh, 175,000 cubic inches. All right. Maybe this would be like an oil tank or something they got sitting out there at the airport where they keep all the gas and stuff. And let's tell you that the, you know the diameter across the top of it, which that would be, of course, all the way across the top of the circle. Let's say it would be, oh, 300 inches. Okay. Again, I'm just going to come over here and we'll do a little talking to the side. So let's say we know the volume formula for a cylinder. It's pi times radius squared. That gives you the base area, and then you multiply it by the height. Okay. Now the diameter is 300. Of course, that would be all the way across. That's a great circle, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. All right. So if you know that all the way across is 300, all right, so it's half of 300, people. And that's right. Half of 300 is 150. Okay. So that would be the radius. And now we're ready to go. So we're going to put the volume in for the V, which is 175,000. We know that pi is 3.14. We know the radius is 150, so that would be 150 squared. And then we're going to find the height. And here we go. So, 3.14 times 150 squared. Again, if you don't have the squared button, just do 3.14 times 150 times 150. That's going to give you 70,650. 75,000. Well, then you divide by 70,650 on the right, which means you got to divide by 70,650 on the left. Those two jokers cancel out to a 1. And then 175,000 divided by 70,650 2.4 and that of course would round up to an 8 because that's 5 or higher in the thousandths place right there so the height is 2.48 or 2 and 48 hundredths inches so 2.48 all right so in summary we know the volume formula is pi times radius squared times height. Okay. If you get the diameter, make sure you take half the diameter to get the radius, which in this case, half of 300 is 150. Plug in the stuff you know. Put your volume where the V is. Pi times radius squared, we did here. When you get that answer, really all you do is take the volume, divide it by what pi times radius squared is, and that gives you the height. Pretty simple stuff. Okay. Don't forget that the basic volume formula, okay, for anything, no matter what it is, base area times height. Okay. Got some assignments coming up here that I know this stuff will be helpful for. Watch it again if you need to. Go back and rewind. Take some good notes if you need to write them down. And uh, email me your stuff when you get done. Questions or whatever. dread at davison.k12.nc.us. See you soon.